If you've been paying attention to healthcare IT news lately, you may have seen that the FDA recently made data about adverse drug event reports available to the public through the new Open FDA website. So what if you'd like to pull that data into Excel so you can analyze it using a pivot table? Many healthcare analysts are familiar with Excel, so this video will demonstrate how to access and use the Open FDA API and then pull the data into an Excel pivot table. Once the data is in Excel, you can use your Excel skills to work with the data and build interactive reports. The Open FDA site can be found at open.fda.gov. Here at the Open FDA site, notice that as this video is being filmed, the site is still in beta and is not intended for clinical use. That's okay, because I'll just show you how to use the API to pull data into Excel, and details about the data will not be discussed. The Open FDA site contains detailed information about the API, how to use it, how to get an authentication key for larger and more frequent queries, lists of the different query parameters, and it also provides examples to help understand how the API works. If you haven't used an API before, read the site a few times and then try out the sample queries. You should be able to figure out how to put your own APIs together in a reasonable amount of time. In this example query, you can hit Run Query to see the details of the data that is pulled. In Excel, you'll only need the API URL that specifies your parameters. Excel will do the rest. You can see in this URL that the search parameters are included and that a count function will be used to calculate results. I'll copy this example API URL for use in Excel. Once again, reading the site and engaging in some trial and error exploration will help you learn how to put the API URL queries together. Here in Excel, notice that the Power Query plugin has been activated and is available on the ribbon. Microsoft provides Power Query as a plugin for Excel, and it can be downloaded from a link that I will provide in the video summary and in our blog article about this video. Power Query will pull in the data using the API and turn it into a pivot table. Back in Excel, moving to the Power Query ribbon, there are a few options for Get External Data. Let's use From Web. Paste the API URL into the box, hit OK, and details of the query pop up. Click on List. Then left click on the header list and select To Table. Hit OK since the data is already in the correct columns and rows. Left click the header, hit OK, and then the query will pull in preview data. Hit Done, and then Power Query will use the API to pull data into an Excel pivot table. Now you have a pivot table that you can use in Excel. Let's look at another example using a different data query in the FDA Open Data API. There are many parameters about the patient. There are parameters about the drugs, and there are other examples at the site showing you how to do different types of data queries. This example shows a chart of data with a few filters, and at the bottom there is an example of the API that pulled in the data. So for all adverse reports, you'll see that the query is pulling for data between 2004, January 1st, to 2016, January 1st, and then giving a count of reports for each day. Clicking on when indication for drug was hypertension, you can see that the query has another parameter added to the filter in order to generate results. Using the first filter option, we'll copy the API URL, move back to Excel, then enter it into Power Query. Click on List, right-click on List, select To Table, hit OK. Then left-click, hit OK, and hit Done once you've seen the preview. Once you have the data in Excel as a pivot table, you can use it to create interactive reports. If you add it to the Power Pivot data model, you can create hierarchies such as this one, by year, by quarter, by month, by day. You can filter by year. Right now is showing 2009 through 2013. Clearing the filter shows all years in the data set. You can do all of this and more with the data that you've pulled using the API at OpenFDA. More information and links about this video are available in a blog post at our website at opendatabits.com.